What's up guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to start your freelancer career using nothing more than your email address and Google. You don't need a website, you don't need anything else, just your email address. So if you want to see that, stick around. Alright, so this strategy is actually how I started my freelancer career about a year ago in early January 2018. So after spending 2017 in Australia working, I had a kiosk that sold hair straighteners in the mall. Uh, long story, but anyway, I made really good money, but it was very difficult. It was very stressful, very challenging. And after about a year of that, I wanted to quit. I needed a break, and I really just wanted to figure out a way to make money online. So I took the money that I had saved and I moved to Thailand and I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna stay here for as long as it takes until I have figured out some way to make money online. At first I was doing AliExpress drop shipping and had a little bit of success with that, but I just found it very boring. So eventually what I decided to do is I started to look into doing B2B services. I didn't have a website, didn't feel like setting one up, and basically what I did is I would email 50 businesses per day and offer them some kind of service. I think at the time it was basically social media management um, and like blog writing and stuff like that. But basically what I would do is I would email 50 businesses per day, which came out to about 1,500 businesses per month. And I was very surprised at how quickly I started getting clients. Now, the way that you are going to do this, if you want to replicate my strategy, is very simple. So, the way that I did it, right, I chose cryptocurrency as a niche. It was very hot back then, um, and I was interested in it. So, what I would do is I would go on a website called icoalert.com. An ICO is an initial coin offering. It's like an initial public offering. Basically, it's a way for cryptocurrency startups to raise money. And this website, icoalert.com, had all of the upcoming ICOs, all of these startups, listed on the website with a link to their each individual respective websites. So what I would do is I would go on icoalert.com, I would open all of these websites up, I would scrape them for their email addresses, paste it into a spreadsheet, and then after about an hour when I'd gathered about 50, I would send a mass email to all of them, mass email, 50 people, it's not really that massive. And then in the morning I would filter through the responses, if there were any, and then over time I would close the deals, I would get on the phone with these people and I would basically convince them to hire me for, you know, I had a whole list of services, social media management, blog writing, you know, all kinds of stuff. So how are you going to do this? Basically what you need to do is you need to go on Google, you need to look for, I recommend that you look for like content aggregation sites, right, like at icoalert.com, like a Yellow Pages type site. But you know, I've also used Yelp, I've used Craigslist, like you can literally just pick any site that has links to lots of businesses and you're going to find their email addresses, paste it into a spreadsheet, and then you're going to use a, uh, use Google Spreadsheets, by the way. And then you're going to use a Google Spreadsheets plugin called um, Yet Another Mail Merge, right? So it's, Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? And basically a mail merge is just a fancy complicated way of saying, sending the same email to a lot of people without using the little BCC trick, you know, where it looks like you're sending it to yourself and you just put all these people on BCC because then people know that you've like sent it to a million people, whatever, it doesn't even really matter. You could do that trick as well. You don't have to use the mail merge if you don't want to. I personally found it better to do it that way, but do whatever you want. Look up YAMM, yet another, another mail merge. You're gonna install that into Google Sheets. You're going to write a template for whatever service you wanna sell. So it should be very simple, very straightforward. Hey guys, my name is Bob. I've got, you know, I, I do social media management services. I'd like to do it for your business. Here's some samples of my work. If you're interested, let me know, right? And then you just engage with them. Now, if you don't have samples, you have a few choices, right? You can either point to other people's samples and say that they're yours, right? That's a choice that you're gonna have to make. It's dishonest, but you know, you're just starting out. You're not gonna like rip these people off. And if you really can replicate that work, then you could make the argument that that's okay, right? The second option is to actually have some samples, right? So let's say you want to manage Instagram pages for businesses. You just set up a bunch of Instagram pages, you grow them for a little while, and then you can point to them and say, hey, you know, these are my pages and blah, blah, blah. In my experience, most people don't check. I would say maybe one in, 
a hundred leads that I get in contact with will actually check and say like, hey, somebody emailed me from this email address saying that this was their page. I just want you to know, like blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you have to take it from there. That's one option. Uh, like, let's say you want to do blogs, right? Let's say you want to write content for these companies. What you can do is you can set up a blog, you can set it up on Steemit, you can set it up on Medium, you can make your own website and turn it into a blog and write, I would say about 10 articles in whatever niche it is that you're targeting, right? So if you're targeting, for example, medical marijuana companies, you can write 10 articles, you know, one is like, oh, sativa versus indica. The next one, oh, you know, what about some like legal action, like some bill that was passed in some state where marijuana is now illegal? Like just anything. You can literally go on Reddit and search for some post or some link and just rewrite that and put it on your website and say that it's yours, right? That's easy. I used to do that all the time when I was writing cryptocurrency articles. And the reason you should do this is that when I, you know, I started out, I didn't have any samples. I still got clients, I still got responses, and I still got hired. But when I added in the effect of having the samples, the work that I could point to and say, this is my work, this is what I've done, I can do the same for you, I got a much better response rate and I started getting even more business. Um, and that's basically it. It's a really simple strategy. You don't need a branded email like at you know, yourwebsite.com. I was using a Gmail address when I started doing this and I had a very good friend who, you know, I guess is fairly business minded and he said, why are you wasting your time? Why don't you do it the proper way and set up a website and blah, blah, blah. And I said, bro, like I'm getting clients this way. I'm fine with doing it this way. I don't need to do that extra step. Now, eventually, when I had my own website and I would email them from a branded website that looked good, I got better results. But if you're just starting out, you're totally broke, you don't have $10 for a domain, like, that's totally fine, I get it, I've been there. Just use this strategy and you'll be getting clients, I guarantee, if you do what I told you to do, and you can write a decent email, you'll be getting clients within the month. Cool? So if you guys have any questions, leave it in a comment below, I'm happy to answer it for you if you need any help. Feel free to get in touch. Um, I personally use a tool called Pygambot, which is a contact form submitter where I can contact like 10,000 businesses a day. I'll put a link in the description. If you guys want to read that, you need help with that, let me know. Peace.